you're watching part two of the tutorial on how to use the Excel file. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, please start with, with it because it has the basics on how to use the file and how to work with Forescan, etc. Part two describes the major differences that happened since I recorded part one, which was four years ago uh, right now. So um, the, this will be only the like new stuff that I've added into the file. Uh, Small reminder that Russia is a terrorist state and all of the invaders will be eliminated sooner or later. I've added also a disclaimer saying that this Excel file is supported only by Microsoft Office versions 2019 and newer. Maybe 2016 as well, but I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, but definitely that uh, 2013 and older do not support some of the functions that I use in the file and uh, you will have like errors in uh, some of the cells so it won't work as expected uh, what i've also added in the file are some of the modules that were missing previously those were added in the newer cars uh, they are not studied yet so it's on it can be used only by the owners of those cars that have those modules to maybe study or investigate the functions in their uh, in those modules if they need it the main differences happened in the IC tab. Uh, previously, we had uh, them separate for like most cars, uh, most Mazda models, and the other one was for uh, specifically for Mazda 2, say CX3 and MX5, because those three models have a different uh, block 4, which uh, has the central configuration in it, and uh, in those three models, it is like much bigger and has 50 something lines instead of the 28 used in the uh, most of the other cars. Uh, let's see some examples of how this works now. So, for example, I have Mazda CX-5 KE, uh, which is an older version. It has um, uh, six lines in the first block. So, as you can see, the rest are empty and are not used in the calculations uh, whatsoever. Uh, if we use, for example, Mazda CX-5 KF, it uses more lines in the block one, so now all of them are um, filled in and are used. Uh, and you can see also the uh, disclaimers that uh, these these lines, like the seven, eight, and nine, can be absent in some of the Mazda models, uh, while the six and seven can have different lengths. So, for example, uh, as you can see in Mazda CX-5 KE. Uh, the six line ends uh, on B3 and uh, uh, like the sevens is absent at all while in the KF uh, it had uh, up to B5 um, so also I have added support for different lengths of uh, block 2 as you can see here we have only uh, up to B3 while in, in the um, uh, while in the KF it has all uh, support for all all up to B5 in the uh, block block 2 also if we use if we take a configuration of the uh, CX3 you can see that it has a lot more lines and it works the same way in, in this tab now so it has uh, 24 28 lines which were used in most uh, cars uh, most other cars and we have since 29 and up to 53 which are used in those three models another uh, thing that i've added in the file are perm permanent values uh, my fellow ukrainian mazda owner mihailo uh, he started uh, this uh, thing uh, by adding those like notes in in his version of the file and i've copied it in in, in the general file that you can see uh, it means that uh, in all of the cars that we have a uh, configurations of we have a, like a database of over 1000 cars um, so uh, all of them have those values the same uh, for all trims all markets etc um, I went further and added uh, all of this stuff uh, for all other modules all main modules that that we have uh, so it's for FSC FBCM uh, IC RBCM etc 
so you can be sure that um, like I'm, I'm not uh, definitely sure that none of the cars on other markets uh, have those values different because we have uh, only a few cars from China, for example. And it can be that in China, uh, some of the values that we have listed as permanent might be different. Uh, but uh, that's like we have a lot of cars from different markets and different years and etc so um, most likely most of those uh, are correct um, in some cases rare cases i've noticed that um, some bits that have permanent that are supposed to be permanent values we have them already noted that they can change some values i'm not exactly sure that this is the the correct example but uh, let's let's imagine that it is uh, so for example uh, this this zero is uh, should be a permanent value so it means that from factory all cars have it as zero, zero. but uh, i've already found that uh, if changing this value um, to one we can change the com coming home light default default setting um, so I don't think that there are a lot of such examples in other places in the car. Most likely changing those permanent values will not gain you any uh, significant result or you will have, you will have inca inca incompatible uh, configuration error in Forscan or you will have uh, some functions not working expected. So uh, it's not worth spending time uh, to um, like investigate those permanent values, I, I think. Um, also, I, let me revert my changes. Uh, also, we had uh, this tab CCC converter, uh, which was used in case if you, for example, didn't have a um, one of your, for example, modules uh, got broken and you can't get your original factory configuration and you want to uh, you want to like you buy a new new uh, module and you want to write a uh, factory values into that uh, module from your car so you went used vin codes you went to this mazda's build search engine and you uh, could use the data in in the file previously for all of the modules you had to manually copy paste the values from here into the excel file and maybe added something there if you if you wanted uh, but uh, right now uh, also also we had the support only for the parser of uh, uh, of the ccc data which is the um uh, which is the central configuration so we had to manually select uh, what's inside the ccc data tag uh, copy it and paste into the um, into into this uh, cell it was parsing the uh, only block four but what I've added now is a, a parser of the whole file. So uh, you don't need to select uh, only part of it. Just select everything by Ctrl A, um, copy it and paste here in this cell by double clicking it or by pr uh, pasting it into the formula line because it has uh, line breaks. And if you paste it um, uh, like this, it will replace the, uh, like we don't want it. So we want to, paste it in the single cell and now it parses uh, all of the supported blocks um, it does not parse for example GWU or uh, hood so um, it, it parses only the main blocks that are used in most cases by by users of this file um, and as you can see uh, you can simply select uh, the needed column and paste here as you previously did by pasting the values um, also, you can notice that uh, all of the lines became red. That's because um, the red in the new column means that the value in the new column and the original column are, are different. It is mostly um, useful when you change something, so you can see here that you you've changed, and you want to know that uh, you want to see that, that the place that you changed uh, is correctly written in the new um, uh, new column but as as for this one it means that it, it is red because uh, the data in the central configuration in the car does not have the checksums in at the end of each line uh, 
uh, which for scan uses so uh, this checksums is used only by for scan like this the, the last one 6b eb etc in in block 4 we're talking about specifically block 4 of the ic uh, it has only a general checksum in the line 1 which we can see here right uh, but uh, if you take the data from the website and you paste it in the, into the file, it does not have the checksums in, at the end of each line. So it will be different because Excel file calculates the checksum so that if you paste it into the force scan, it does not say you that uh, uh, something went wrong and uh, you your checksum is not correct. So just to be sure that um, force scan says everything is okay, you have to, you, you will see this uh, like red in all of the lines. Also, I've added support of changing the VIN code uh, in the central configuration. If you need it to do it for some reason, you can change it in, in this uh, place where you have uh, the big uh, numbers and big letters simply by replacing what's in the cell. And you'll see that uh, these uh, two fields will be filled in and you see that now you have new VIN and uh, the value was changed from 62 to 63, for example. Um, that's basically all major changes that happened in the file since 2020. Uh, you can see all uh, minor changes in the change log tab. Um, uh, mostly minors are some format changes, some fixes, some, some bug fixes, some uh, new functions that were investigated, um, etc. Um, so thanks for your attention.